everyone so today i'm gonna be giving you a basic tutorial on how to make like fabric animations just like this one on the screen four bits 16 bits 64 bits 256 bits 1024 bits and some people are trying to gatekeep it so i'm just going to show you a tutorial on how to make these and like the title insists you can easily make like ten dollars in five minutes this is from a hundred thousand views and it's not even processed all the way yet so there's probably more made like one super viral video could get you like four hundred dollars but anyways let's show you how to do this first things first go to the first link in the description and download the newest version of blender click down Download Blender and it should download it for you right here. It will bring you through the setup process and just say yes to everything. And if it asks you to donate, you can either say no or give it an amount. It's a free program though, so it's not mandatory to donate. Next, go to the second link in the description and download this template I made. It has all the requirements needed, so let's get started. I'm gonna have to blur most of this out, but once you're in your file explorer, double tap on Blanket Fall and it should open up the program I have right here. If you load into the project, by the way, and your project is looking all white like this, make sure you go up here and select the texture area. The first thing you're gonna see is a camera view, this little like object thing that's gonna be falling from the sky. This is our fabric that's gonna fall. By the way, guys, if you wanna get into this WASD view, just click shift and then like this little weird squiggly line. It should be right above your tab key, so shift plus that, and then you can go into this cool view. By the way, make sure you're in object mode. And yeah, this is what we see. First things first, let's customize your gorilla. Tap on the gorilla's fur and then go down to the texture bar down here. At primary color, we're gonna change it to whatever color we want. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm probably gonna go with probably just my normal white to make it easiest for you guys. By the way, you can change the view like this by holding down on your scroll bar. Okay, so now you're like, what the heck do I do after that? I change the color, I have the camera, click the camera button to view the camera what do i do the next step is pretty straightforward click on your plane up here make sure you're in the object mode and you can either delete it and i'll show you how to do that so right click it click delete then we can go to add up here mesh and plane now size this up and set it to whatever height you would like and and click s to change the scaling of it so here's our plane here and then go to the material thing click new base color if you want to add a custom image you can go to image texture then click open down at this file thing upload your image there and then you have your plane like that or you can use the ready-made one which is the one i recommend and you can go down to the texture tab right here again go to the base color and click the x to add Add your own image so x then click open and add your own image now as you can see like we're pretty far in already we have our background our gorilla and our fabric so now let's go down to the physics tab right here and make sure cloth is enabled to enable it click on the cloth but if it already has an x right here you're good if this says delete bake just click delete bake and make sure the end says 75 frames now, once you're done with that, click bake and click this little play button down here and our animation should play out. And just like that, we have our first fabric. Once you're ready to export it, go up to render and make sure you click render animation. But before we go up to the render tab, make sure this output is wherever you would like it on your computer. So click the file thing and add it to wherever you would like on your computer. I recommend your videos. Make sure to let the animation render and it may take a second. Okay, and as we can see, my animation is done. We're on frame 49, which means it's ended. And just like that, our one face is done. Now to add more and more faces, go up to the edit mode, click the face selector up here and then select our plane select our planes face then right click and click subdivide every time you subdivide it will multiply the number by four so one times four is four four times four is 16 16 times four is 64 and so forth after you're done with that go into object mode and click the plane again now go into the physics tab again click delete bake and bake it again make sure you're in object mode before you bake it by the way and now if we play it through our animation is changed and the fabric is new it has even more edges on it and let's repeat this process by going to animation render animation and it will render it and just repeat the process of doing this over and over again until you have like a ton a ton 
of faces done. Make sure, by the way, that it's in your file explorer and rename every single one to the amount of faces. It will help out later. Trust me when I say that. Also, when you go into edit mode, if none of the edges are selected, make sure that it's the node selected. Make sure that it's orange like this and just hold shift and select all of the edges. All right, once you've had six clips or 1024 faces, then you should probably stop. Then go to the third link in the description. That is going to be CapCut and make sure you have CapCut installed. Once you've installed CapCut, click create new project and you should see this page. So just click import and this is where we get all of our clips. So once we've imported in all of our faces, go to the modify tab, click aspect ratio and set it to 9 over 16 then frame rate just 60 then add in our first clip which is this one right here then our second clip third clip so forth and if it ever gets boring just trim it at the boring point so for me there wasn't ever really a boring point so i'm pretty good then what you want to do after that is find an audio you like so just find an audio to import below it okay now that i have my audio i'm going to import it and i'm going to be using this like one bit two bits audio except i'm going to be timing it perfectly with the numbers <laughs> And it's sort of like a pixely boy, so I'll show it for you. So just like that, I've timed all the audio. Now I'm going to go up to text and click add text, default text. Just use your font. I use heavy Mont demo. So one, and I'm just going to add the one like right there. Now let's change it to a four on the four bits, then a 16 on the 16 bits. And just like that, I've numbered all my clips. So here's my final video. Four bits. 16 bits. 64 bits. 256 bits. 1024 bits. And just like that, my video is finished. Just click export, select your destination we want to export it to, then just click export. And yeah, I hope this tutorial helped. Soon you'll probably, if you use this over and over again, get more fluent with it. You can do it in like five minutes. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you would consider subscribing and liking, I would appreciate it. And have an amazing day.